Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. You know, I've been reading a lot of articles lately that say that millennials are staying and living at home rather than getting their own places. And I thought, maybe we should do a survey amongst us too. Uh, Ronnie, do you have any people that are millennials that are still living in your house that should move out? I have a millennial living at home. Now let's see, do I? I have three. <laughs> so, 50% mm. of my kids and 66% of my... <laughs> <laughs> the new American adult, mom and dad, help pay the bills. Don't miss this episode of Men Are So Smart. Yo, dad, can you spare a dime? A dime? Apparently, sure. <laughs> yeah, if it were old. If it were just a dime. <laughs> Apparently, many do, and much more than a skinny dime. One out of six American adults receive financial support from their parents or other family members who chip in for everything from rent to basics like groceries. Millennials. Mayana. Millennials are delaying major milestones like home buying and marriage and financial independence is included among those, according to research from County Financial. One in three adults surveyed by the financial services company said they don't believe they should have financial independence until they're at least 25. What, did they spin the wheel and come up with that Holy number? Holy cow. That may be in stark contrast to how earlier generations viewed independence, adulthood, and money. Yeah. Today, six in 10 millennials are unmarried, or three times the rate of the silent generation, people now in their 70s and 80s when the average marriage age was 21 for women and 23 for men. Uh, but the U.S. economy has also changed since their parents and grandparents entered the workforce. The financial crisis and Great Recession hit millennials just as they were entering the job market, and many of them are jugg uh, juggling hefty student loan repayments. Yeah, he added, what I found surprising was the response to the survey. People are saying they're lazy or they don't care or some other reason that's negative, and I don't think that's the case. Hmm, I do. Millennials still playing financial catch-up to Generation X. Yep. Uh, adult Americans who receive help from families are making rational economic choices, he said. Balancing debt, underemployment, stagnant income, and they may be hoping to forestall costs so they can build their careers and enjoy the payoffs later. At the expense of who, though? Yeah. Some parents keep their kids on their cell phone plans or Netflix family subscription yep. because it's cheaper to carry these group plans than to ask each person to subscribe individually. And it's not only adult children who do this. Williams noted that he's on his 25-year-old son's Netflix account. <laughs> so am I. Uh, sharing entertainment subscriptions is a theme in Refinery29's Money Diary series a column in which millennials disclose their income and spending habits. In one recent column, an engineer earning a salary of $78,000 per year, that's pretty good, uh, noted that her parents paid for her car and she spends nothing for Netflix because she uses her parents' password. It's not only millennials who are still relying on mom and dad for financial support, according to Northwestern Mutual which ran its own survey about American financial habits earlier this year. The financial services firm found that 15% of adults who receive help from family members are 35 to 49 years old or Generation X. Wait a minute, I thought we were slamming millennials here. Now we're slamming ourselves, Ronnie? Oh my God. So what was, what was striking to me was the idea of the 35 to 49 year old group. They had, uh, they had the impact of the 2008 crisis, says Emily Holbrook. Uh, they're looking at divorce and child care payments. Even if your, your earnings have gone up, disposable income is getting squeezed. Okay, so that brings us to giving up money for happiness. Across the board, 16% of Americans, or one in six, receive financial support from parents or other family members. The top, top categories of expenses that adults get help with are bill payments, 
like credit cards, mobile phones, cable bills, basic necessities, food and clothing, and housing costs. Uh, in Holbrook's view, part of the problem is systematic change in financial risk from corporations and government onto individuals. Previous generations could rely on pensions from employers while college costs were much lower. I'll give you that. Uh, now, Americans are accountable for managing and saving in their own retirement plans, and the skyrocketing cost of college leaves many adults saddled with debt. Indeed. We'll talk about that shortly. However, Parents. I paid for both of my kids' college, so they, my daughter has a little, a few student loans. Yeah. But she's uh, paying them off. Good. And parents and other family members naturally went, want to help struggling adult children, Holbrook said. The first place to start is a discussion about budgeting emergency funds and creating a financial plan. Uh, helping adult children will ultimately backfire if the parents haven't saved for their own retirement. Uh, that's really not all that uncommon, Northwestern found. One in five Americans have no retirement savings. People need to have a level of financial discipline, he said. Ultimately, all parents want their children to be set up for success for life. You know, there's, there, it's one thing to be born with a silver spoon in your mouth. Right. And it's another thing to earn everything you receive. Yep. Work for it. At which, I mean, holy cow, I moved out when I was 19 years old. I have been paying my own way ever since then. Um, I, there was, remember that old black Chevy truck I had? Yeah. I had another car at the time that I didn't want to get rid of, but I wanted that Chevy truck real bad. My mom helped me out, but I would pay her back a hundred bucks a month until I had it all paid off. It wasn't that much. I think it was $4,500 or something at the time. Uh, and I put, I put some money down, but regardless, she helped me out, but I paid it back fairly quickly. Um, but man, I have never never borrowed money from my in-laws or parents or friends or family. Um, I don't know. I just always felt like, hey, if I can't afford it, I don't need it. Yeah. Um, and, and there is also such a thing as desperate times calling for desperate measures. Right. That's understood. Uh, a pet may be injured hit by yep. a car. Yep. That's an expense that you obviously can't really plan for. And God knows how expensive that is anytime you go to a, a veterinarian. Yeah. Uh, so there are things like that that are going to come up, but really honestly, um, it was different for you and I. I was I was out of the house at about 19, I think. Yeah. Um, just about almost 20, maybe. Uh, I was married at 22. I paid for everything. Yep. Um, I had a child at 25. Uh, I had health insurance to cover that. And I paid for everything since. And you know what else too? It doesn't hurt. I work three jobs. That's true. Okay. I work three jobs. And if you think you're tired of just working a 40 hour work week, <laughs> why don't you buy me a beer? Come over and chat. Yeah. Okay, we'll talk a little bit. Because you know what? You're young. Yeah. You can go out and earn your keep, earn your way. Trust work. me, this is the time in your life when you should be working more hours, more yeah. than 40 hours, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, because you don't want to do it once you reach the golden age of 60-ish or so. Mm -hmm. uh, it's It doesn't seem that great anymore. It doesn't. You yeah. know, that's another thing, too, and not kind of off topic. You know, people that are 25 in the workplace have much different goals than people who are 50, 60 years old in the workplace. People who are 25, you know, they have aspirations to climb the corporate ladder, if you will. Right. And people that are 55, 60 years old, maybe a little older, just want to make it to retirement. They're just, they're looking at that light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> just let me get through this. And praying it's not a freight train. So, you know, what you do as a 25 year old, don't compare it to what a 60 year old does. All right. right. That's just a little tip I'm going to give you. Yep. Uh, so yeah, uh, Ron and I both have uh, millennials living in our homes. Uh, Sucking resources dry. Uh, God knows that's true. You know, and I always tell people, at least most parasites won't kill the host. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> they they only they only take what they need. Yeah, they but, only suck a little blood. Yeah. <laughs> But there are there are those parasites that will kill the host and then yeah. and then die die to boot. So. And then where are you? Yes. Right. Right. Okay. So millennials take heed that advice. Yep. Yeah. Don't kill the host. Right. <laughs> Just don't kill the messenger either. <laughs> That's us. All right. That'll bring us to the conclusion of this episode. Millennials living in Luz and Ron's house. Yes. We hope you've enjoyed it. We hope you're not <laughs> living in your parents' house and you're 49 years old. Get a clue. It's probably time. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, uh, if you'd like any more information, or for that matter, you know what? If you want to just unload, go to the comments below. Bring it on. Bring them on. Bring it on. We want to hear from you. And uh, we do respond to all of our comments. Either Ronnie and, or I or both of us will reply to your comments yeah. below. So be sure and do that. I have some great comments for this already. Yeah. So yeah. let's hear it. For sure. Yep. And you know... We, oh, no, I won't even go there with that. I'm not even going to bring that up, fan episode up. Uh, okay. Uh, all the information below, blah, 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 blah. You see all the sponsors, blah, blah, blah. We'll see you on the next Men Are So Smart. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. This has been the blah, blah, blah episode. Yada, yada, yada.